Hey guys, this is Code Draco. And uh, what I want to do for my 4K pack is that instead of releasing a, a big 4K pack, I'm still making it as I go, so I'm just going to release a couple of things singularly, just so you guys can get it, get it, because I know you guys have been waiting. So just get, so you guys can get it now, a little bit, uh, a bit more as we go. Uh, I'll just release it singularly as we go along. Uh, what I want to give you guys in this video, as you can tell from the title above uh, or below if you're on my channel, I want to give you guys um, an optical flare, uh, optical flares pack. And uh, basically this has like, I think like 10 optical flares. And th there's simple ones, but a couple of them are really good. And I actually, I actually really like them. So I, I just made them like my style, what I like, and they actually turn out pretty good. And, uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, also in this video... A lot of people have been asking this for a long time. A lot of people want to know how they can use their flares in Photoshop without having just trying to get rid of the black, which a lot of people don't know how to do, which is uh, which is obvious, but it's actually really easy. I'm also going to show you guys, since uh, a lot of you guys have been asking this, how to use uh, flares in um, in After Effects, like how to make them for, uh, for, for Photoshop and also how to use them in your intros and stuff like that. Uh, first of all, let me show you how. To, let me show you the flares I'm giving you guys. Let's open this up. Uh, extra large icons. All right. As you can see, there's a ton of them, and this one's not loading, and this is not loading. Uh, let me open it up. There's digital green. There's purple sky. And then there's all of these. A couple of them, basically, just these two right here that you can see I'm clicking on. The, these ones aren't that good because this is. I made these the first day I got After Effects. All the other ones. I just made today, or not today, a little while ago, because these are actually from uh, my update video, but for some reason, obviously because the update video, no one really cared about it, so no one downloaded the flares, like a couple of people did, barely, and if you did, you know, you guys are awesome, but a lot of people didn't, and that's fine, so I just wanted to give this to you guys, because I know a lot of you guys will find this useful, and I added uh, a couple more in here, I'm pretty sure, I don't really remember, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, here are the flares, and uh, let me show you guys how you can use them in your work. Here's something I made in literally maybe like 10 seconds. And it's just Code Draco in a purple background thing. And uh, let me show you guys how to use these flares. Alright, let's take one of them. Let's take a uh, pink flare. Obviously, I tried to be creative with these names, but towards the end, things like pink flare, you can kind of tell that I was stop trying to stop being creative. Alright, first of all, um, here we got the flare. And there's a black background. To get rid of that, change your transfer mode it should be on normal change to screen that will get rid of most of the black but as you can see there's still I think it's smaller so you can see better but you can see see there's still like a black like there's still an outline to where the black used to be like you can still tell where the black was is or was or you know like you see right there and so if you want to um like get rid of that like the little outline go to your eraser tool right here and then pick your soft brush Pick a decently sized brush, sort of big, and then uh, just so slowly erase the edges. And then once you have them all erased, you can go ahead and put it down right here. Maybe if you want to put it on the bottom, you might want to erase like, the bottom just to give it a better look. And here you go. You got a flare. And then let's imagine that maybe our uh, whole, like, what's it called our background it's like a different color so let's make it green or whatever just a random color alright alright it's green now and obviously a pink flare looks really dumb on green so what you want to do here is that once you got once you got uh, your flare here press control control or command U or go to image adjustments hue and saturation control U and you'll see you'll see here you have hue so you can move this around until you find green or if you got if you have a flare especially like this where the green looks like it's saturated too much in the middle, go to colorize, go to green, and just higher the saturation up. Here you can see it'll work better if I do a better flare for this, like this. And you see it's blue on green, which looks really dumb. So blue on green looks really dumb. Control U, colorize, bring it up to green, higher this up, and erase out. See, that looks nice and all and then yep you got a flare to use also another thing you guys might want to know is that the darker the color the better it'll show up let's see, let me show you guys an example 
Here I got a dark purple color and it shows up really good. Now if I take a darker purple color, it'll show up even better as you can see. And if I take a lighter purple color, it does not show up very well. So the dark so when you have it on screen mode, the darker the color the better it shows up. Alright, now next I'm sure you guys how to make these in After Effects. Uh, let me delete all of these real quick. Alright, here we got a little intro that you guys have already seen on my channel if you guys have been active. And uh, that's why I use it since you guys have already seen it. But here we got a little intro. I know there's like 60 different clips of Saint Ninja because I had to make it longer. I had to copy and paste the work area, but uh, let me show you guys how to make optical flares in the first place. All right, so when you have your, uh, just make a random composition, just go to composition, new composition, just make it, and then go to um, a layer, new, solid, or press Control Y, and then go or Control Command Y, and then go to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. Wait for it to load. It should take a while to load, but my own I already had loaded up. Alright, now let's press Options when you have our Optical Flares effect open. And just, let's just go to Clear All. Now, uh, what you want to do is you just want to add whatever, really. You can add just tons of different stuff, like just random stuff, like blah, blah, blah. And then one thing a lot of people don't know, which, uh, so a lot of people, like, can't make good Optical Flares, that like, you can change all of this in, uh, like your, uh, Optical Flares. Sorry if it sounds like I'm making a lot of noise, by the way. But you can make you can change up all of this in your optical flares dialog thing. So, for example, this looks all the colors are really messed up. So I can go over here to multi iris, right here where it says colorize. I can go to color, and then maybe I want this whole thing to be like a green. So I can change it to green. I can change everything else to green, and I can change the gl global color to green. And after and you you can go through all these. And if it's spectrum or this one, uh, some things like this. As you can see, horizontal stretch. It says it's red, but the color random is on 87. So just put it down to zero. And move it to green, and then you can just change all the colors. One thing that a lot of people don't know on how to make their uh, optical flares look amazing is um, to use lens textures. So here, go on your global parameter parameters uh, layer, move down to these lens textures, and just pick a good one. There's it should uh, if you if you get the right optical flares, it should come with a, a bunch of really nice ones, and you can just pick whichever one looks best in your opinion. And then uh, let's just pick uh, smudgy or What's a good one? Specs, whatever. I honestly don't care. But we got this. And now we have our optical flare. Let's move that back. And how much time do I have? I got time. Alright, now we have this optical flare, which looks absolutely terrible. But you can, but you know, I uh, I already made this a really, really good version of this tutorial before. But it was 15, it was like 15 minutes and th like 30 seconds. And so I had to redo it because there wasn't really much more to cut. So yeah, that's why I want to make this done real quick, but you can edit it how you want. But alright, here we go, we got this, and the first thing I do when I make an optical flare is I add flicker, because that really, really does uh, make it look more like, it just makes it look better in general. And if I can uh, play this through, you can see what flicker is. As you can see, it, yeah, that's too much flicker to be honest. But if I play this through, you can see what flicker is. And as you can see, if you look at the optical flare, it's like the brightness changes as we go. But uh, maybe, all right, first of all, you want to go to render mode on transparent. Now, maybe I want it to be going from the top over here, and let's line this up, all the way over here. So what you want to do is line it up where you want it. All right, now, if, if, you, want, if you want this uh, lens flare to be here the whole time, you don't really have to mess with the brightness, but all right, what you want to do is go back a few steps then by holding control and then moving your arrow keys, and then clicking brightness, center position, position x y now on your brightness move it to zero and then go back to your original point and then put it to one oops go to 100 all right now you got the flare in and then move to a point where you want the light all right so pretend you're right here and this when the flare comes in and then uh decide when you want it to go all the way over here and then what and then uh when you want it to fade out so when i want it to go all the way over here i move across is maybe like right here and then what I want to do is on position x y I'll take my position or take my x factor and I'll move it all the way over here and then I'll move a bit more this way and I'll take the brightness down to zero and now let's watch that through 
as you can see the flare moves across and gets and fades out as we go you're gonna have to mess with a lot more to make it look actually good because right now it looks really bad but you know you, like you guys have seen a lot of intros where the flare looks really good so you guys are gonna have to mess with it and make it look really good but um i know you guys can uh make it look great now i have still have some time i'm gonna show you guys how to make something that a ton of people have been asking and that's how to make the background flare that i always use <coughs> god and uh, in my render settings tutorial, which I put up a little while ago, I show you guys how to render your intro with alpha channel on, which means that it's tran like, you know, let me show you from this down here. Okay, as you can see, um, this in this is the intro right here, the ninja, but everything behind the actual model or whatever is transparent. So basically, if I add optical flares, see, look, it's behind it, not in front of it and covering it up. So basically, what you gotta do here is go to options. And uh, you can base basically uh, for this one, uh, you just make your own as I showed you guys. Let me just go to my custom preset and pick one. This one's nice. And then let's press OK. Let's just actually fix this one for this time, and let's add a better. For this one, uh, it looks a lot better if you have like a kind of like starry sort of texture. So let's pick a uh, dodgy is fine. Do like a starry or maybe like just one of the dots and stuff on it. More textures. All right, here we go. We got this. Sorry if it looks really bad. I know the quality's awful. I keep the I keep my quality on this really low just so it renders out faster. But I'll move it for you guys. And as you see, if I put this up top, and then I and then I add flicker to make it look not like bad. Add some flicker. Add some flicker. And if I play this through, you can see if you look at the flare. Yeah, just put the flicker up. You look at the flare it flickers and it looks really good in my opinion and uh yeah so let's play that through so i can show you see it looks pretty good and that's it and thanks for watching and download the little optical flares pack and there's gonna be more to come soon all right guys thanks and bye